And that's Ken Kreitzer for Sons of the American Legion Radio at the Navy League in New York City. And we have a chance to talk with a British naval officer, and that is Commodore Jerry Kidd, who is the commanding officer of the new British aircraft carrier, uh, the HMS Queen Elizabeth. And uh, Commodore, great to see you uh, here in New York. Tell us a little bit about your new ship. Well, she's fantastic. She's brand new. There's two of them coming in the Queen Elizabeth class. First one's called HMS Queen Elizabeth, and the second one's called HMS Prince of Wales. And they are right at the end of their build cycle now. So we're going to be out at sea uh, next year. And uh, they're just fantastic. They're brand new. They're 65,000 tons each. They're about a third of a kilometer long. They're not actually that much smaller than the big new American aircraft carriers, the full class. So we're very, very excited. They're just fantastic ships, and we can't wait to get them to sea. Now we know they're going to handle the new F-35s, which is going to be a mainstay of the United States Navy and the Marine Corps. Tell us a little bit about uh, flying the uh, F-35B, I understand it is. That's right. Well, we've, in the Brit, Brit Navy, we, we like our V-style aircraft, the aircraft that land vertically and, and take off through a ski ramp. So we bought the F-35B variant. The United States Navy, of course, have bought the F-35C variant. Although we're going to work very closely with the US Marine Corps, I'm sure, who've also bought the same variant of aircraft. So we're very excited about it. It's a fifth-generation fighter attack aircraft. It does a whole bunch of stuff. It's, a, it's just the most modern aircraft in the world. And we're really pleased and excited to be having it in the Royal Navy. And, sir, you talked a little bit about that this is the first year that the Royal Navy is expanding in, in generations and uh, 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 buying and committing to new uh, ships and, and submarines. We see you're going to be part of the Ohio replacement class with the uh, Dreadnought class uh, Royal Navy sub. Just tell us a little bit about uh, the importance of this uh, uh, shipbuilding program. Yep, well, the Royal Navy's turned, they've turned the corner now, and I think people are understanding the importance of having a strong credible, powerful Navy, both on the U.S. side and uh, b back in Europe. So the Royal Navy is getting bigger now. We've taken on our new astute class hunter-killer submarines. We just announced the building of the Dreadnought uh, uh, ballistic missile submarines, which will carry the nuclear deterrent. And, of course, these two new aircraft carriers, which will be the, the bedrock of our surface fleet. And new frigates announced last week, too, the Type 26 uh, frigates, which will go with our carriers around the world. So exciting times for the Royal Navy and we're looking forward very much to remaining in partnership with the US Navy as we go through this journey. Absolutely. Finally, as I ask every veteran, just tell us a little bit about some of the stops, some of the highlights uh, uh, of your career of service in the Royal Navy. Well, I'm a carrier man by background, but I've commanded frigates as well. And I've uh, sailed Atlantic, uh, the Gulf, the Mediterranean, just about all the seven seas, uh, often in partnership with the U.S. Navy and U.S. Marine Corps. So it's been a complete privilege. But as always, the greatest jobs in the world is when you command ships. I think the biggest job so far is the commanding officer of HMS Art Royal five years ago. But of course, this little challenge of commanding HMS Queen Elizabeth is my next challenge. And it's been a fabulous career and a great privilege to be working with the U.S. throughout, that, throughout my time. Commodore Jerry Kidd of the Royal Navy, great to see you here in New York. And really, thank you for your service and thank you for your partnership with all of us, all, everyone in the United States military. It's great to see you and best wishes from the American Legion. Well, that's very kind and thanks very much indeed. And good friends means good friends. And uh, we just uh, are so privileged and honored to be here today in New York, uh, reaffirming our connections and our links with the U.S. It's just fantastic. We must stick together in future challenges. That's, that's terrific. Great to meet you, sir. Commodore Jerry Kidd of the Royal Navy. This is Ken Kreitzer for Sons of the American Legion Radio at the Navy League in New York City.